Okay, so I wanted to make a really quick tutorial on AV1 transcoding. For instance, if you've got MP4 files and you wanted to make them a hell of a lot smaller while only taking a minimal hit in quality, then you can do that. If you've got an Intel Arc GPU, then you've got support on Handbrake. But for everyone else that has like a, a 40 series uh, NVIDIA GPU or a 7000 series Radeon GPU, then you can use, well, at least for NVIDIA, I know for sure you can use FFmpeg 6.0. I don't know about Radeon yet. Eventually, it will be coming if it's not already. But I had to make my own batch, uh, batch script file using this. This was the key to making it all work. There is no GUI that I know of that currently exists that will do it properly. And it certainly will not give you the amount of control that this does. So just like in Handbrake, you can adjust the slider that changes the number that um, if you go lower, like down to 20, it'll, inc it'll increase the quality but it will uh, increase it'll increase the file size. Yes, uh, that is correct. And then if, inversely, so if I would go to 40, then it decreases the file size further, but you also are decreasing the quality. And I found through days of practice, uh, just like testing out and everything, that 30 is the sweet spot for AV1. If you're trying to do H.265, it's a different number. But for AV1, this is pretty well the sweet spot. All this code does is it'll create a folder that will store all of your transcoded AV1 MP4s so that way it doesn't overwrite the originals just in case if you don't like the the quality hit. I was able to determine that I did like it and just to give you sort of an example of what AV1 can do in terms of file sizes, my Let's Play hard drive, it's a 20 terabyte hard drive, that's where I put all my videos that are Let's Play, it used to be 7.52 terabytes used. Now after AV1 and everything, it is now 2.37 terabytes. So I saved over five terabytes in file size just by shrinking, because a lot of these things will get cut from whatever it was, like 20 gigabytes, down to one quarter or one fifth of the original size if it was encoded with H.264 originally, which is typically how people do it with OBS. You record with H.264, and then uh, you might run it through, like I'd use Sony Vegas, and then you render it H.264. But transcoding to AV1, you can get a considerable drop in capacity in storage size while getting minimum, I mean, a lot of them look exactly the same anyway. So I was like, yeah, this is a no brainer, but this is the code to do it. Go ahead and test it out with you. If you've got an NVIDIA 40 series GPU that will support it, uh, this should work with you. As long as you've got the newest FFmpeg, just make sure that wherever your FFmpeg is located, find it and then do shift, right click, uh, copy as path, and then you can paste it over this. This is just where mine is located, but you will need to change that path in order to get your FFmpeg recognized. You can go and download FFmpeg 6.0 from their official website, and this should do it for you. So that's pretty well it. See ya.